everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I thought I would review the QQQs today. We actually have a small body red bar today here in the market. Every day that we've had that's red has been what only we've had of a pullback because we really haven't had a pullback. So if you've been wanting to go long the market, if you hadn't been long, the only time you have a chance to go long is on a down day like today. And I gotta tell you, this isn't the best entry to go long in here. But I'm just saying, this is about all the pullback the market's giving. A day that it trades down a little, bounces. And that's all it's done. So every day in here, like today it traded down, bounced. Two days ago, traded down, bounced. Last week, traded down, bounced. That's it. I mean, expect us higher again tomorrow. And this is what I'm looking at here. Let me just show you. This level all the way over here. Well, here's where we are today. This moment. We're right here. So we, we literally came down and kind of bounced right off this area here. It's a baby support. But we are making it like a support. And we're, we're going to continue up until we get over this high. So I don't even think we pull back until we get up over the high. And so these red days are the only sell-off pullback days that you could go long. And to be honest with you, if you went long any of these, you're up money. Even this one last week, if you went long in here, you're up. So I have no idea what tomorrow looks like. I know Baba is a big name that reports tomorrow morning. And we'll have to wait and see what that does. But if that reports positive, that certainly could gap the market up tomorrow morning into the open once again. This is a perfect chart. Look how the QQQs have not broken the APR moving average for the last, oh my, Lanta, June 30th. <gasps> Six weeks, basically. Look at that. Six weeks almost. It's pretty incredible. So that's a sign of strength. That's a sign of strength in the market overall. For the market to be hugging and holding the APR moving average on the daily chart and not breaking it at all in six weeks, that's very significant, people. I mean, that's not why I'm calling the market higher, but I'm just saying it's another interesting feature and factor here that gives me more conviction that the market is, in fact, higher. So we'll see where we go tomorrow, but I think we just climb, 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 climb till we get over 120.50. And there hasn't been any big, solid, massive green kind of day in here. So it's gonna happen one of these days, but these are medium to small body bars days in here. The last big day was July 8th, more than a month ago. So I don't know when we have a nice big fat green. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. If it happens before we get up over the high or into a gap up, or once we get up over the high, we'll have to just watch it. Very interesting summer trading in here, though. Incredibly strong market. And we'll see follow through finally, finally in the QQQs to make a brand new all-time high soon. Sooner rather than later because we're just going to keep going and rising until we do it. The SPY made a brand new all-time high last year. The Qs never did. So this chart is now finally coming in coordination with the SPY, which is all setting up very nicely for a very bullish market. And we're bullish already, but I mean, we're gonna be extremely bullish. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in more information on how to read the market, read ETFs or trade stocks and read directional bias in stocks and gaps, I teach a class. It is this weekend, August 13th and 14th. Email me at melissa at for more information. Thanks everybody, have a great day.